but coming to the mesial and lowering their hand to get the mesial tilt is harder for most people because they're not used to dropping their wrist or they're not actually fulcruming in a place where they can drop their wrist. So to actually watch the mesial on that wall is probably a little bit harder than distal. It's easier to raise your hand, especially this mannequin. It's like flip top head, they can open as much as you need, especially the way you guys open your heads. Um, <laughs> it's no problem, right? So that should be fun. So those are basically our categories, a continuous line that's well-defined on the cable surface. Um, one of your classmates uh, has some very nice carvings Probably some of the best carvings that I've seen preclinically in my three years teaching. Um, this, so let's show them all. <laughs> yes, these are Alexis. They have, everybody knows the work. I've seen them already. So you guys can give Alexi a hand. And what exactly is it that I like about these carvings? Number one, I'm going to turn off the light because I think it's hard to see how how beautifully plain they are. You can really see the anatomical features in all of these. Basically, thank you, Dr. Lloyd. Is that better? Thank you, Dr. Lloyd, for letting me know that. Uh, I can't find a monitor to see well. <laughs> That's the problem. I was trying to see for Dr. Chu, but he makes a better door than a window. Um, so at any rate, uh, you can see the anatomy has broken up all the, di the different areas beautifully on the two. So you can see every triangular ridge. You can see all the pits are placed beautifully. The depth of the pits are correct. The central pit is the deepest. The mesial and distal pits are less deep. Uh, and there's even a little bit of supplemental anatomy showing off at this point. You know, if you had all the developmental in there, I'd be super happy. When you get the supplemental in there, then you're just showing off. So if you got it, you might as well flaunt it. But the reality is, is if you guys just got all the developmental stuff in there, um, and we're able to get them polished up like this. Now, Lexi, I noticed that some of these are kind of polished, but it hasn't been 24 hours yet. So remember, you're not going to polish for 24 hours. You're going to let it fully set. But the reality is, is these are beautifully carved. And I think all of you guys that agree, this is the kind of dentistry you'd like to see in your mouth if you have it, right? So kudos to you, Alexi. And hopefully all of you guys will uh, approach this during the class or at least during your school career here at Western U. If not, get there after you're gone. Okay?